crush clear acrylic drum kit. Had it for a few years. Um, very punchy, too heavy. I'm going with um, Evans on everything. I usually play Evans, uh, but you know I like Remo as well. But if I play something, I have it either all Evans or all Remo. It's all Yamaha hardware, um, and for some reason I really like Yamaha, but I think it's mostly because of this nut design I have, I don't know, it just fits really well in my uh, thumb. <laughs> it's a small <laughs> stupid thing, right, but uh, for me it really works, it's, it's pretty good. I have a, actually a, a Thomas Speed Cobra, um, this is probably be the last recording she'll ever do, she is pretty old and worn by now, um, but done me well over the years. Uh, I'm playing with these um, wonderful drumsticks, Regal Tip. Um, I got them specifically because of, they have this sort of weird coating on them. Kind of sticky, you know, I can't, they don't fall out of my fingers very easily. And then I'm playing on um, Salts and Symbols from uh, Toma. And um, the Rock Beat series, it is, uh, and uh, F5 series. Very pretty and simple, very loud, very pingy. And um, I usually I crash a lot on them. Uh, the right is my main crash as well, and they open up enough for me to play uh, what I want to play. 13 by 7 inch uh, hand hammer phosphor bronze, kind of dry-ish. steel ludwig kick drum to get some resonance uh, and then like uh, expensive million dollar microphones and all that i don't know he does his job <laughs> yeah good, so i think that's the sort of the tour of my drum kit